The past three years at CMW have been some of the most rewarding in my life. And they have taught me that through. Carl, Mark's ready for you. Okay, great. Who are you talking to? Um, <laughs> myself, actually. Uh, do you ever do that, you know, like uh, pep talks? No. Right. Thank you, Amy. A poem by Benjamin Snow. Now, I don't usually ask this, but why would you want to mimic this guy's handwriting? Do you know who he is? I had to read some of his stuff in college. He's dead now, right? Not yet. I have another request. What's that? I have a visitor coming over at midnight. For your own good, you need to be gone by then. Well, let's make this quick. Same nightmare? Yes. Just trying to get some rest, all right? How many of us are left? I don't know. You know I am right, Richard. So why do you not heed my words? Because, because if there is even a slip, because if there is even a sliver of a chance that Lance and Ambrose can make it through this hell, then we have an obligation to see that through. No. This is not what we agreed to. Wait, please, don't go. I don't deal with people who aren't up front. This doesn't change anything. This changes everything. I have a very specific job. This isn't a part of it. Maybe we can make other arrangements. It's too late for that. I'll give you more money. How much more? More than you can imagine. I have another bag. Three. Maybe four times that size, hidden in the next room. Please. I need this. If you really are Benjamin Snow, why not just write the letter yourself? You know what? Oh, what's that, Jim? Okay, bud. Anyways. So, uh, where is your old ball and chain at, huh? I think that's enough for today, champ.